what we're seeing is projections of very dramatic growth in the number of room air conditioners that are going to be operating around the world. 3.3 billion will go into operation over the next three decades. We have over half the world's population that lives between the subtropics. Population is continuing to grow, urbanization is happening, our planet is warming. If we carry on using the same outdated air conditioning technology, the temperature of the planet will rise by 0.5 degrees for air conditioning use alone. If we continue with business as usual, the innovations will take a long time to come and these are needed immediately. So by putting out a prize, we create the incentive that's needed and we ask the world to create a solution that the industry can then scale up and put out into the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for has arrived. It is time to officially launch the Global Cooling Prize. The challenges which we have identified are the challenges which cannot be handled by a country alone. We need a global coalition of innovators. We have three precise reasons for supporting the Global Cooling Prize. First is that we as a nation are committed to provide comfortable cooling to all our citizens. Secondly, we are going to witness exponential increase in the air conditioning penetration. This is going to impact our energy spectrum and also the energy efficiency. The winning solution should have a 5x less climate impact than a conventional room air conditioner, which is in this case a 1.5 tons of refrigeration unit using 410A refrigerant and also using a fixed speed drive with an energy efficiency ratio of 3.5. Shortlisted candidates would be required to prepare two prototypes which will be tested here at SEP University. And this testing will happen for a particular set of indoor and outdoor conditions. Third test would be a field test. We will be selecting a city which generally experiences heat stress in India during summertime. On behalf of Mission Innovation, exhort the innovation community to let loose their imaginations with the support of this prize challenge to rethink how we can provide this absolutely critical resource. We will have the industry, the academia, the startups all coming together to be able to take forward the challenge which has been posed. It's a problem that's global in scope. We have to take that technology commercialize it, drive it to a point where people can adopt it at scale. With this innovation, everyone will be able to afford cooling without warming the planet. Today, I'm inviting entrepreneurs and companies from around the world to take up the challenge. Good luck and I hope you win it. <laughs>